Welcome to lesson 3. In this lesson, we will focus on creating two new tables to store products and orders, establishing foreign key relationships between our tables, and an introduction to database diagrams. To begin, let's create a new table to store our products. Expand the databases folder, expand Joe's hardware, and right click on tables. Select new table. In the column name cell, add a new field called product ID and assign it an int data type. Highlight the product ID role by clicking on the role selector. With the role highlighted, click on the set primary key icon. Scroll down the column properties until you get to identity specification. Expand the section and set the following values. Is identity yes, identity increment one, identity seed one. Add a second column called description and assign it a data type of varchar50 and tick the allow nulls checkbox to make this a required field. Add a third column called unit underscore price and assign it a data type of decimal 6, 2. This means we can have a maximum of 6 digits with 2 being after the decimal place. For example 1000.55. As with the previous field untick the allow nulls checkbox. Close the new table window and when prompted call the table products. Now let's create a new table to store orders. Right click on the tables folder and select new table. Add a new field called order ID and assign it an int data type. With the row selected click on the set primary key icon. Scroll down the column properties until you get to identity specification. Expand the section and set the following values. Is identity yes, identity increment 1, identity seed 1. Now continue to add the remaining fields as shown in your lesson guide. Once you have entered all the fields, press the save icon and call the table orders. We are now going to create a relationship between the customers table and the orders table. To do this, click on the relationships button. This can be found to the right of the set primary key button. You will be prompted with a foreign key relationships window. Click the add button. You will see a default relationship called fk underscore orders underscore orders. Expand tables and column specification and click on the small button to the right hand side. From the table and columns window, select the customers table from the primary key table drop down list. Then below the customers table, select customer ID from the drop down list. The foreign key table will be set to orders. Below that, select customer ID from the drop down list. Change the relationship name to FK underscore orders underscore customers and press OK. What we have done here is create a foreign key constraint between the customers and orders tables to enforce referential integrity. By doing this you can only add an order in the orders table for a customer that exists in the customer table.